Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So here I have the MacBook Pro 2023. So this is the 16 inch version and the tutorial I'm gonna show you today is that I'm going to be wiping this computer completely. And hopefully we're gonna do not too much editing on this because I've done the videos on wiping computers in the past and the people have complained that I'm going too fast. So today I'm gonna try and do it a little bit slower just so that you can get the full idea of how long this takes, it doesn't really take that long. So this is gonna wipe the entire computer of all your data. That's because we are doing a return of this particular laptop and I don't wanna have any data being handled by Apple. Or if you actually want to sell this computer in the future or give it to somebody, you wanna get rid of all of your data. So this tutorial is gonna show you how to do that how to do it on macOS Ventura and how to do it on the new Macs as well. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So once we're absolutely sure we're gonna be wiping this computer, I'm gonna show you the method of wiping this using macOS Ventura. So the process for this is really straightforward. So if you're sure that you've backed up all your data, what we're gonna do is to go to the Apple logo on the top left hand side of the screen and click on it. Go to system settings here. And then within system settings, we're gonna click on general on the sidebar here. So click on general. And then on the right hand side of this bar, we're gonna to go to transfer or reset. So click on this button here, transfer or reset. And then we have the option here for migration assistant. That's if you wanna copy data to another computer. However, we don't care about that. What we wanna do is erase all contents and settings. So I'm gonna tap on this button now, erase all contents and settings. And now it's asking us for our computer password. So my password is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna press unlock. And it's saying here that all media and data will be erased. So it's telling me that my Apple ID will be signed out and also my Bluetooth accessories will be unpaired. So what I'm gonna do now is press continue. And now it's asking us to sign out of our Apple ID. So I'm gonna type in my Apple ID password. So now it's saying, you're about to erase all contents and settings from this Mac. All data settings and apps will be erased. This cannot be undone. So at this stage, we can still cancel, but if you're really, really sure, press the red button and erase all contents and settings. So this is just thinking at the moment. It takes a little bit of time. And uh, basically, we just have to wait for the computer to restart. So. I think I'm not gonna edit this out too much because I wanna see how long it takes in real time for this process to occur. We can see the Apple logo coming up now and we've got this loading bar. Let's just wait for that to tick along. This entire process is really fast. I mean, the solid state drive erasure of the new Apple Silicon Mac solid state drives are really, really fast. So. I expect this to go very quickly. I had about a terabyte of data on this one terabyte MacBook Pro, and uh, I expect this to go pretty damn fast. So that bar's nearly complete. And uh, we are on the black screen. Oh, okay, there's the sounds come up. And uh, let's see what's happening. Yeah, the Apple logo's come up again. So we have another progress bar, it's quite dim. And uh, now it's saying that we have to activate Mac. So that just means that we have to activate the computer before we can go onto the standard loading screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my local Wi-Fi network. So once we've logged into our Wi-Fi, then we should be able to press next here or just detects it automatically. So just wait for that to finish. It's not taking that long. I'm trying to be patient. So this part, well, the erasure is already done. We're just activating the Mac so that it can be used by the next person. Saying here, Mac's activated. This will restart, so I'm gonna press the restart button. And uh, we'll just wait for that to reboot. 
And hopefully what we're going to see is the welcome screen after this chime. Let's see what happens next. So that bar's moving along. Basically, we should be going back to the stock version of macOS Ventura, which is the version that came with this computer. So beautiful, this is exactly what we want to see. This is as if we're getting a brand new computer. So if you're selling this, this is what your customer or your whoever buys your computer or your relative will want to see. And uh, this is also ideal state for returning the MacBook. So it means that it's completely wiped free of all of your personal data. No one can access anything. And this is now ready to, to return. British English is the main language. Ooh. Press the return key. Or sell. So once the, once the kind of next person has selected the language, they can basically go ahead and select the region, create a new username, and it's completely taken off your own Apple ID. Your data is all gone. So anyway, I hope you found this slightly slower tutorial, a lot easier to follow. You should be able to follow this in real time. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. Yes, it if does. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press